What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here, moving on to the next example in the Advanced Functions Unit 1 test. So we are given this graph here, and we are only given half of it, so a partial graph, and what we have to do is we have to sketch the other half in two different cases, when the function is going to be even, and then also when the function is going to be odd. So starting with part A, we know that if a function is going to be even, it's going to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So the first thing you want to do is actually get the coordinates of these corner points because these are the points that we're going to be transforming. And actually this point at the origin, 0 and 0, is not going to transform. It's just going to stay there. But then these other two points, this one's happening at what, 2 and 4? Four. So this point and then this point, which is at 5 and negative 3, we're going to be transforming those. And we're going to be reflecting them on the y-axis, because if we reflect them on the y-axis, we'll end up with a symmetrical function, and then the function is going to be even. So whenever we take a point and reflect it over the y-axis, Remember, the y value stays the same, so we're going to get a point over here. The y value is still going to be 4, but what's going to happen is the sign is going to change of the x value. So this 2 here, that's going to become a negative 2. The y value is going to stay the same, and so we're going to get a point right there. So this is going to be a negative 2 and 4, like that. Now the point 0 and 0, as I mentioned, if we were to reflect that, then it would just stay at 0 and 0. The y would stay at 0, and then, I mean, negative 0 is the same as just a regular positive 0. So this point does not, um, does not reflect, it just stays as is, and then any point actually on the y-axis would stay as is. So, for example, if we had the point instead over here at like 0 and negative 4, well, Notice that the y value would stay the same, and again, switching the sign of 0 just keeps that x coordinate at 0. So no matter where that point would be on the y axis, it would stay there on the y axis. Okay, so that point's going to stay, and then this point 5 and negative 3, well, again, the y value is going to stay the same at negative 3, so we know the point's going to have the same y value, and then this x value of positive 5 that's going to change signs and turn into negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, and negative 3. That's going to be right there. And then what we could do is we can basically connect all of these points. So we'd go from here to there, and then we would go from here to there. And then that right there gives us an even function, right? So we took this half of the graph and basically reflected it to get the other half. This function is symmetrical about the y-axis and is even. Yo, yo, what's up? Quick little intermission here. I wanted to mention a few things and we'll get right back into the video. Number one, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to the description box and there's a link that will take you to my website, allthingsmathematics.com, and there you can find all of the videos organized by chapter, by section, and there's also tests that you could try at the end of each unit that have video solutions. Number two, if you feel like you need tutoring at any point, hit me up. I'm tutoring students seven days a week over Zoom, both high school and university students, one-on-one -on -one and in groups. My contact details are on the website. You could text me and we could book a session. And finally, if you feel like you're getting any value from this video, if you could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, hit me up on all my socials. It does help me out a lot. If you feel like any of your friends can benefit, feel free to forward the website to them as well. And back to the video we go. So now moving on to part B, where we have to draw the other half of this graph when the function is odd. Now, remember, when the function is odd, it has point symmetry, which means that it's reflected in both the y-axis and then also the x-axis. The one half is reflected in both the y and then the x. And then you could also reflect over the x first, and then the y, it doesn't really matter. You're still gonna end up with the other half. So an even function, you only reflect it over the y-axis. An odd function, you have to reflect it over both axes. So let's start with this point 2 and 4. So we already know that when we reflected 2 and 4 over the y-axis, we got the point over here, 
which was negative 2 and 4. But now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take that point and reflect it over the x-axis. So when we reflect something over the x-axis, the x value stays the same, right? So we're going to end up down here, still at an x value negative 2, but then the sign of the y value is going to change. So from negative 2 and 4, it's going to change into negative 2 and negative 4 down here. So negative 2 and negative 4 like that. And then this point over here, we will no longer need. So let me just erase that. Okay, so another way we could have went about it is reflecting this 2 and 4 over the x-axis first, and then we'd end up at uh, still the same x value to a negative 4, and then reflecting that to a negative 4 over the y-axis, we'd end up with negative 2, negative 4. So you could go either way, this way and then that way, or this way and that way. doesn't really matter, you're still going to end up in the same spot. Right, so that's that point. Now the zero and zero, again, reflecting it over the x or y axis, is just gonna stay at zero, okay? So that is gonna stay at the origin. Now this point here, five and negative three, when we reflect it over the uh, y axis, remember we got this point over here, which was negative 5 and negative 3, but now we have to take that point and reflect it over the x-axis. So the x value would stay the same, but the y value would change signs. So it would be negative 5 and positive 3, like that. Okay, so let me erase this point over here. We do not need it. And now we join the points here. So I'm going to join this and that. And then what I'm going to do is join this point and that point, like that. Okay, and that is the graph of an odd function, right? When we take this half of the function right here, right, this half, if we reflected over the x-axis and then the y-axis, we'd end up with that half. All right, so pretty cool example. What you want to do with these kinds where they give you graphs is, is you want to get the coordinates of the corner points, however many corners there's going to be, and then you want to work with those coordinates, flipping them, reflecting them over the x and y axis. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.